Our reporter Rosie Wright is at Paddington Station for us. And Rosie, uh, how's it looking? I was at Paddington, I'd be closer to HQ. I'm actually in Waterloo. Ah. And all the way down the station, there are loads of people persuading the public to buy a poppy. And it hasn't been a too tough task, I must say. Let me just introduce you now to some people from the War Widows Association who are uh, buying a poppy right as we speak. And this is Penny. Penny, how's it been going this morning so far? Uh, it's been going very well. Uh, we've got a machine now that they can tap their card and people have been tapping £20 and more. Uh, so there's been a lot and lots of money into the bucket, £10, £20. Yeah, the aim is to raise uh, a million. Yes. It seems to be uh, going well and you've obviously gone contactless so that people can't say, oh, I haven't got my cash. Yes, we have very much gone contactless. So I know you have a, a deep-rooted, very personal connection with the armed forces. Can you just explain to us? Yes, my late husband was in the RAF. He was a doctor stationed at Headley Court, which was the rehabilitation centre. And he died 21 years ago, still serving. So I have had, have been doing this collection on Waterloo for about eight years now to try and raise as much money as possible for the RBL. It's about raising money, but also about the awareness of what the, the military, the armed forces are doing in the UK. Yes. And today's London's got a bit of a makeover. Can you just show us, you told me, something about Waterloo? The clock at Waterloo has been lit up in red and looks absolutely stunning. To mark exactly today. Yes. I'm going to come over and talk to Elaine now. Elaine, we're meeting lots of people commuting. Actually, they don't realise part of their commute is only happening uh, because London Poppy Day is here on, because there yes. was going to be a tube strike and a train strike. That's right. They've realised today's pretty important. Yeah, the RMT changed their minds and decided to go ahead with not striking today so that we could all be here to raise all this money, which is great. You lost your fiancé in okay. active service. Can you just explain what the RNLI is like for you? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, my partner died in 2003. So for, for me, coming here and doing this is just a nice little nod to his memory because, you know, he's, he's not here anymore, so I am. Thank you so much, okay. Elaine. There is, if you come down to the station, so many people who've got just some connection uh, to the Royal British Legion and lots of people uh, wearing their poppy. You'll see them all around uh, train stations and tube stations. Earlier on today, Rishi Sunak was uh, seen, not by me, but spotted, I think, by Tom at Westminster. And just as I arrived at Waterloo, going up the escalator ahead of me, I saw a glimpse of the Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace. So uh, lots going on today, but the main aim really, try to raise a million pounds to buy that poppy.